The F-35 and the alternative engine dilemma, is incremental billion dollar expenditure still necessary? There is ongoing debate about whether the F-35, a fifth generation fighter jet, should have an alternate engine. Proponents of a second engine argue that it would enhance competition, provide a backup option in case of engine failure, and potentially reduce costs. However, on the other side of the debate, many experts argue that the F-35's current engine, the Pratt & Whitney F-135, is highly reliable and has performed well in testing and real-world operations. Advocates for a single-engine approach argue that developing and maintaining an alternate engine would increase overall program costs and complexity. They also contend that investing in other areas, such as improving stealth, sensors, and weapon systems, would provide greater benefits to the overall performance of the aircraft. Ultimately, it is up to policymakers and military officials to determine whether an alternate engine is necessary for the F-35. At present, the F-35 program does not include plans for an alternate engine, and the current focus is on continuous improvement of the existing F-135 engine. It appears that the Citizens Against Government Waste, CAGW, has released a brief titled The F-35 Does Not Need an Alternate Engine, authored by CAGW President Tom Schatz and Director of Research Sean Kennedy. As a nonpartisan, nonprofit organization, CAGW is dedicated to identifying and eliminating waste, fraud, mismanagement, and abuse within the federal government. While this brief likely presents arguments against the need for an alternate engine for the F-35, it is important to note that viewpoints on this topic can vary. The decision on whether to incorporate an alternate engine into the F-35 program involves careful consideration of various factors, including costs, performance, and risk mitigation. Since then, the primary engine for the F-35 has remained the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine. The focus has been on improving the performance, reliability, and capabilities of the F-135 engine to meet the operational requirements of the F-35 aircraft. According to a nonpartisan report by the Congressional Budget Office, CBO, in 2023, the F-15E Strike Eagles developed in the 1980s demonstrated twice the delivery readiness as compared to the F-35 operated by the U.S. Air Force. The report states that for 17 years since the F-35 entered service in the U.S. in 2006, the F-15E fleet has consistently shown twice the delivery readiness as compared to the F-35. The CBO report indicates that the mission-capable rate for the U.S. Air Force's F-35A fleet decreased by 11% between 2021 and 2022. Similarly, the mission-capable rate for the U.S. Marine Corps F-35B fleet decreased by 7% in the same period. However, the mission-capable rate for the U.S. Navy's F-35C fleet increased by 5%, to less than 58%. The F-35 program is indeed one of the most expensive military endeavors in history, with estimated costs reaching around $1.7 trillion over the lifespan of the program. Comparatively, the combined costs of the First and Second World Wars for American taxpayers were around $320 billion, which is significantly lower than the F-35 program costs. Concerns have been raised about the availability of the F-35 aircraft, leading some Pentagon officials to speculate that it may not fulfill the role initially envisioned. There is a worry that the aircraft may not become the workhorse machine it was intended to be. Similar concerns have been seen in the past with other advanced military aircraft, such as the Vought F-7U Cutlass and the Convair B-58 Hustler which faced challenges and did not live up to expectations. It is important to note that although there are concerns about the F-35 program's cost and availability, 
It is an ongoing and evolving program that continues to receive investments, improvements, and updates to address these issues and enhance its operational capabilities. The ultimate role and success of the F-35 in the U.S. national defense strategy will be determined by ongoing evaluations, investments, and adjustments made by military officials.